It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. All right, everyone, gather around. I should have my Bob Marley song playing for this because here is the rare, the awesome Calypso Joe. And if you watched my live stream, you would have seen this unveiled. And actually, if I uh, remember when I unveiled it, I believe his ear was broken off, which is a common malady. But thank God I was able to glue it back with no problems because a lot of times it's actually missing completely. So we dodged a bullet in that respect. And uh, anyway, uh, get comfortable, my friends, before we get rolling. Grab your coffee, your drink, your snack, and focus now and pay attention. Stir that, that coffee and clank it if that's what you're having. And uh, prepare to be amazed by Calypso Joe. Uh, anyway, he is the battery-operated remote control toy by Linemar. And as you know, because they tell you all the time, Linemar is the best by far. With the exception of this piece of box that's dangling over there. Maybe i got to glue that over there too, huh? So, Calypso Joe is one of those character toys that is tough to find complete. I mean, he's not super duper rare, but rare enough to find it with the hat, with no broken rubber pieces. And you can see nice art depicted. You know, this is obviously depicted like it would be in the 1950s. He's got cool clothes, and you can see him here doing his drumming and he's uh, leading the pack here it's one of the many limar toys do you have them all of them i have a lot of them not even close to all of them and there he is there just digging what he's doing and here's that stupid piece of flap that just broke off i'm gonna have to glue it it almost looks like it was cut anyway so that is your cool, colorful box, and here is your toy. Now, I have the phone vertical because it's easier to film that way. But here's the original hat that's often missing. There's your ears that are often broken. Even these hands and arms are often broken, cracked, dry rotted. So that's the key when you're getting a Calypso Joe is to make sure that uh, the rubber stuff is intact and make sure he has his ears and everything else. Make sure he has that, I don't know if you want to call it an ascot, and that his clothes are in good shape. I like his tin litho feet. It's got his toenails lithograph, which is a nice touch. And his face is pretty cool, too. So anyway, the uh, remote is in brown, which matches the color of the toy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see him operate now. Now, I do get worried running this, like, and by that I mean um, you could puncture some of these original drum surfaces, especially if it's paper, but this looks pretty, pretty uh, solid right now. Now, they made a lot of character drumming toys, a lot of Indians. And they had uh, characters like Major 2D also, so they... they ran the gamut of all the different ethnic groups as far as drummers. I'll do it one last time. I don't want to burn out the eyes. Thank God this one doesn't have that God mode where the eyes are like overpowering the camera. And I, of course you notice he's walking. Nice beat. I challenge any fledgling musician to make a, 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 a song, compose a song with all original battery toy instruments. That would be a novel feat, right? Anyway, that's your Calypso Joe. If you liked Calypso Joe, do me a favor, thumb up the video. And if you like these kind of old toys in general, the thumb it up and uh, subscribe. What that thinks is always, and I'll, before I cut off, I'll just show you the rest of his clothes. You know, and this is a very exceptionally nice example where he's not shedding anything and the clothes are intact, so. It's uh, always nice to find one complete. Thanks again, my friends, and I will talk to you later.